Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Lime Join episode seven. I am your host, Hector, and with me are Icy. Hello. Swart. Yo. John. I'm Kahi. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Tyler. <clears throat> Hello. And with us is a new host, a new permanent host. That's right. You know who he is because of the title of this video. The man, the myth, the Miru, Little Johnny. Okay, not only is that nowhere near what I expected you to say, <laughs> but I can't necessarily say I approve either. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I mean... I'm gonna have to let you go. <laughs> what? I run this bitch, not you. <laughs> okay, so first of all, my my first rule that I'm enacting is we have to keep our language PG, and I'm I'm talking like Dora the Explorer PG. What? Fiddle what? There we go. He gets the idea. The, uh, you can't tell me what to do. The second rule I'm enacting is this is the <laughs> second time I've been on a podcast with a John and a Tyler. So. <laughs> They're going to have to go. <laughs> Can, can't we change their names to uh, Byler and Bon? Okay, I'll accept that. Hey, uh, <laughs> I'd rather go with, with Kyler. Okay. With, okay. The C, with the C, dude. I, I can't go with that, with that name you suggested. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it. You're a crip. <laughs> No. Um... So uh, yeah, this is our new permanent host. I'm glad to be um, here. I've been soul searching for a while now after <laughs> leaving TTV, and I'm I'm happy to say that I found my soul here at the Lime Joint, and uh, uh, I'm looking forward to the many years that we will spend together podcasting. Hell yeah! See, this is how you can tell that we're a we're a good show. <laughs> we get we get the good people in. Yeah. So, like, what am I again? Uh, you're a sword. You're, uh, you're dead, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, both, okay, both you, like, sword and LJ, you type like dads. <laughs> what, properly? I... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Look, I actually type how I type because I literally can't think of another way to type. <laughs> okay. Like, I was like, okay, when I was typing like typing with your toes. <laughs> I've done that when I was like thirteen, fun. I typed like you guys did. I was, I was like, always correct pronunciation, well, not pronunciation. This is text. Fuck me. Punctuation. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> always whoa, correct whoa, punctuation. Language. My ears. <laughs> always correct punctuation. Always correct capitalization and everything. And then, then I turned like fourteen. I was like, fuck it. See, I was the complete opposite when I was that age. I didn't use any punctuation. Uh, spelling was kind of 50-50 at best. <laughs> and then I got older and I was like, man, forget all that noise. I'm going to be hip and cool like all the older peeps. <laughs> That's what kids say nowadays, right? No, no, I'm pretty sure that was, that was old when we were kids. Uh, uh, Actually, I, I say that I'm the oldest one here. Yeah, I was about to us. say, um, LJ confirmed to be 30. LJ, I know like that you're younger than me. Are you sure? <laughs> Not by much. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. legit? L LJ's that old? Yeah. <laughs> little did anyone know I'm actually Swart's dad. Oh my god. Yes, right. I am the little Johnny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> LJ and Swart are daddy. No. <laughs> That. No. I, I'm gonna ask you to stop that right now, or else I'm gonna fire you. Ooh. <laughs> fire me, daddy. <laughs> and, yeah, okay, right. and that's the end of this episode. That's a wrap. Right. <laughs> I've actually had a couple of people on mask posts and call me daddy hack. It's weird. I don't like <laughs> it that. It is rather weird. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> Please don't that's call weird. me that. All right. As I said earlier, what the Hector? Hey, that, that counts as swearing. Uh, we got LJ. Wait, no, swear. it does not. Yeah. <laughs> wait. Yeah, okay. you didn't censor your heck. <laughs> yeah. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> so I have to ask, why don't you swear? It is a 
Oh goodness, what well, what's the reason I usually give? Um, there, there's doesn't. a specific way. There's a specific way I word it. It's a mental exercise. Mm-hmm. So oh. in the same way that, like in a lot of instances, swearing is kind of used as a crutch. I'm not saying any of anyone here does that, but mm-hmm. it is used as kind of a substitute for putting something more eloquently in a lot of pop culture or just in general conversation. So mm-hmm. as kind of a mental exercise, I just don't. Okay, that's that's it, fair. In addition to also being in the Lego community, and from my perspective, it's kind of a bad idea to not try and and aim your content and your speech toward the community you're aiming toward. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Gee, maybe that's why we so, only have 100 subscribers. <laughs> yeah. hey, 100 subscribers in a month is pretty good. Out of a group I mean, of 15,000. 100 subscribers in a month and then getting zero like for three months. <laughs> No, uh, we we get a pretty healthy growth with each episode that we put out. So. Yeah, but the problem with that is, even if you were to get, say, a full penny per viewer, per subscriber, you get a dollar a month. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but... That's like we're a not... Snickers bar, dude. That's better than Venezuela, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're not entirely uh, wrong. Sort of. Clearly, we're not in this for the money if we're running a fucking Lego podcast. <laughs> yeah, so, well... What LJ is basically saying is that we're doing everything wrong and that we are never putable. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> See, and that's why we hired him. Actually, oh, yeah. speak, speaking Honestly. of that, I, w- I want to take it aside. Um, mm-hmm. I actually just got a donation today from my donate button on BSL1. Um, <gasps> it literally said on the note, and I'm going to read this to you because I think this is amazing. Okay. It's from, uh, are you familiar with, the na- with somebody named Rory? Vaguely, yeah. I think Roy you've heard about him. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, he, his message was: didn't realize you had a donate button until you mentioned it on the lime joint. <laughs> Would have donated far earlier if I had known. Thanks for being such a key part of my uncle's online presence for so many years. Oh Aww. hell yeah! It was only five bucks, but you know, <clears throat> every dollar counts for my in my situation. Hey, that's that's yeah. a very nice message. It is. Yeah, mm-hmm. it officially validates us as a show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But oh, yeah, where were we before? Where, where I could actually get somebody to give a shout out in a donation box that only you are gonna read. <laughs> well, it's okay, know. guys. I'll get some donators. Oh, I'll get some investors. Donate money for me. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay, we have LJ here to uh, manage our brand now. Here's our new marketing director. <clears throat> this is a wise choice. So, so what you're saying is we're now going to be calling ourselves the the lime mangosteen. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Mangosteen are my thing. Uh-huh. See, right now we need to improve you guys' image. So instead of the lime joint, which donates poor quality, we're going to call you guys the CCBS joint, <laughs> <laughs> which is somehow improved. Of course. Okay. Based on what I've seen in mask posting, I think a lot of people would rather take a shitty lime joint over a CCBS part. That's why they have to be banned. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you guys, uh, did you see that posting. recent post that I made? <laughs> yeah, I used to delete. <laughs> CCBS is heresy. Just stink ass bits. <laughs> Just broken pieces everywhere. Like, see this guy? Gone. <laughs> Man, guys. <laughs> Bionicle yeah, I'm sorry. Was so bad because it was just Hero Factory. This guy? Also gone. <laughs> <laughs> Is yeah, there I'm anyone sorry, you're man. not gonna fire? Yes. They will oh. become my closest and most trusted allies. <laughs> so hey, I'm sorry, man. So hey, I Hey Hector, I think this was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm like... sorry, what was that? <laughs> Nothing. Oh glorious leader LJ. <laughs> Proper. I'm... I'm trusting LJ over here. He he's gonna make us the big bucks. Mm-hmm. But oh, so, man. while we we have him, is there anything we should do? <laughs> we should do prosper. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, dive right into the questions we have. There. Yeah, that. Uh, hmm. Sure. Uh, because we do have a metric ass ton of questions. That's a lot of donkeys. Wait, wait a second. Why is there? <laughs> Why is what? there meme questions and then just nothing there? Um, because of time, I decided not to include the meme questions. If we get time, 
I will I will read a couple of the meme questions. I have them. Right. Um, it's just it, it's understandable fucking poop questions. <laughs> I'm excited. I love answering questions. Yeah, yeah. Because you never answer questions. Because you totally don't have your own show where you take questions. Well, I, I try and leave the questions for others. Okay, so the first question, I'm going to start with the longest one, mm. which I got to our email, because remember, you can send in your questions at our email, thelimejoint at gmail.com. And you can also just comment it on our YouTube video. Just start it with the word question so it's easier to find. And then also, I always make a post in the Facebook group. <clears throat> so look out for that. But anyway... Questions for you and LJ by Moyer Moyer Cat. Yeah, Moyer Cat. <clears throat> for Hector, I feel like I had forgotten about Bionicle for a very long time after it was cancelled, and I assume there were many who were in the same boat that now have th that spark of childhood back because of mask posting. Was that the case for you too? And if so, what was the spark that made you remember them again? What inspired you to create mask posting this long after G1's cancellation? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a couple of questions. <clears throat> and so, basically, was this the case for me too? Um, well, okay. The answer to this is basically, it's a very fun coincidence that we have LJ in here when we get this question. Because th this guy here is like 80% responsible of getting me back into Bionicle. <gasps> so, yeah, mask posting? Mask posting is blood on your hands, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the way you phrase that, but I'm, I'm humbled. <laughs> we, we may have to cut that in post, Jess. I find it's incredibly accurate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the other 20% being meso, because the way I got back into Bionicle... It was summer 2015, and uh, I, I, I had basically absolutely nothing to do. And I found my bin of Bionicles, and I was like, oh, hey, th these were a thing. And I was a fan of Bionicle, like, all the way from the beginning until um, 2009. And I would have kept being a fan. Like, I still kept up with it online through, you know, the story and stuff like that. But the sets themselves stopped coming here to the stores in like 2009 like we didn't get the glatorian legends onwards because stores here are stupid yeah but i was like huh bionicles are a thing and i was like hey i'm gonna look up bionicle on youtube and see what i can find and i see hmm recap reviews i was like i i wanted to like see just any content about Bionicle and the recap reviews were the first thing that I found. And so through that, I got into TTV. I think I still remember which review you were on when I started watching. You were the latest review you had dropped was Kongu Mari. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> which. Um, That's about what? Two and a half years ago now? About yeah. 2015. Yeah. Yeah, 2015. And then through that, I got into TTV and specifically Menog with Meso. So Meso is the other 20% of what got me <laughs> Good into Good times. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Still, still waiting on Metro Nui online with Meso. We want to do it. We absolutely yeah. will. Eventually. Oh. In due oh. time. <clears throat> so our next project is going to be buying TTV? <laughs> no, no. Our next project is going to be buying... Uh, Whoever currently has Minog. Minog. <laughs> no, Minog. Don't say, oh, wait, no, Minog. You're right. Never mind. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I swear, I got to correct you there. It's whomever. Shut up, Bonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you guys using all that fancy language. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, the spark oh. that made me remember Bionicle again was basically LJ and Meso with their antics <laughs> i guess mm -hmm. you could say, say them and what inspired me to make mask posting this long after g1's cancellation well i've already told this story but one day i was in death grips trash posting this is a, <laughs> which is a absolutely shit group don't join it the only one posting anything worthwhile there is 
Elijah Marshall, so shout out to him. But one day someone was like, if MC Ride was a Bionicle, th this would be him. And th just posted a picture of Zach Tan in the comments. I was like, oh, hey, if I made a Bionicle shitposting group, would you guys join? And the response was overwhelmingly positive. So I was like, oh, I guess I'm doing this now. And I first, I suggested the stupidest name ever. It was going to be Bionicle Bio Posting. And Elijah Marshall basically saved us. He was the one who suggested mask posting. Elijah Marshall is a beautiful human being. I love him, dude. I really like him. <clears throat> but yeah, that's basically it. So the next question from Moircat. For all the cast, have you ever done anything to or with any of your Bionicle pieces that you deeply, deeply regret? Hmm. That sounds like an odd question. It rather is. Yeah. <laughs> the answer is no, but yeah, that's odd. <laughs> I'm guessing he means like, you know, painted it with the Sharpie or something like that, or cut it. I think I broke one of the light up swords by accident. Oh no! <gasps> How dare you! It was an accident! I <laughs> know, mm. oh, that's heresy. This one time I shoved my golden Ignika up my ass. <laughs> and next question? <laughs> next question! We yeah, demonetized. <laughs> We're already not monetized. <laughs> Negative monetized. We owe YouTube money. Of course. <laughs> but... Swearing's back in game, boys. <laughs> I, I, was not, I was not interested in hearing about the tale of the brown Ignika. Oh, oh. Who is that in in, in Matanui? So... What boy is that back in town? That's... Hey, who's who Meso? But he oh. left, I guess. Oh, here, here he is. I'm I'm pretty sure oh, he's yeah, just no, listening. He... He's just gonna <laughs> listen in. I yeah, okay. Him. He he sent me a PM. <laughs> um, so <laughs> sorry, Meso. I didn't see your PM. I'm really sorry. But That's my okay. answer was yes. You can listen in. Um, next question. This one's specifically for LJ. Mm. Aside from Bionicle and Lego, what other interests and hobbies do you have? Do I have currently, or have I had? Um, either. <laughs> and then also, have you ever considered doing a blog about your everyday life? Oh. Okay, so to the second one, no. I don't think my, my life is not interesting enough for a consistent <laughs> vlog series. You would find out that my days go, wake up, make food. Get on computer, chew the cud with friends, work, go to sleep, repeat. You know, adult stuff. And yeah. for the first question, I don't really have a whole lot of hobbies outside of Lego right now. I used to be very into other stuff like uh, art, fencing, a Digimon was another Ooh. big one. Uh, Yo, Power Rangers. What yep. weapon do you fence with? Uh, a sword. <laughs> <laughs> There's like, three, there's like three variations it's of a fencing one. Story. It's been a long time, I don't even remember. But um, <laughs> I, I guess outside of that, maybe gaming. You know, play games, Halo, Call of Duty, Mass Effect, which, let's be honest, Andromeda sucks. <laughs> Stuff like that. LJ's really good at Halo. I dispute it. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, actually, we do have a Halo-related question. Hmm. Caleb asks, when are you free to 1v1 me in Halo? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'll find time. And then you die. Yeah, uh, basically, wow. something I found out about LJ that uh, I don't know why, but I guess I wasn't expecting uh, it. Like, oh. He plays Halo with anyone who asks him to. Yeah. Uh, he'll play any game, really. I specifically enjoy one-on-one -on -one fights, like 1v1s. They're kind of my bread and butter. But... Gee, I didn't I, notice. <laughs> but, you know, I'll play games with absolutely anyone for any reason. It's, it's just fun. I, I, play, play, I play games to play with people. You know, we, we've got how many people now with Reach? We should really consider a firefight. Yo, that would so, actually be lit. Yeah, that would be fun. Firefight after recording? Maybe. <laughs> Actually, LJ, you and I see here have a pending duel, don't you? This is correct. <laughs> In Overwatch, which I'm also really good at one of you ones. <laughs> Time to do, 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 duel. <laughs> this whole 1v1 thing just sounds to me like you're not. Fuck, 
You sounds like you're not a good team player, LJ. I'm sorry. What, what was that? You kind of cut out a little bit amongst your improper language. <laughs> it sounds to me like you're not a good team player, LJ. He did it again. He what? did it again. He cut out. I did. <laughs> okay, I see what you're okay. doing here. Listen here, Mr. Hector. No, no, I'm serious. You're cutting out. So I'm going to be very clear. <laughs> no, you're going to do this way. Right. You're going to do this the right way. Okay? okay. You keep on cutting out for me, buddy. So I'm going to need you to stop doing that, or otherwise I'm going to have to cut you one more time. What? Let's do this. What? Oh, uh, I, I just, I just said that. It sounds like you're not a good team player, LJ. Ah. Uh... So Hector, what games do you play? Um, what? I play Skullgirls, but I don't actually play a lot of video games. God, what a wee... G games that I have, buddy, I need to destroy you! <laughs> I don't- look, I have a very bad computer. Um, we can play Team Fortress 2 if you want. <laughs> That's basically it. Discount Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I can't play Overwatch. My computer won't run it. Mm. Oh, your computer will run no, it. No, it's Overwatch. you tried. All right. Oh, you're okay. Shit. <laughs> you know what? Fine. We'll compromise. Mm -hmm. One people want me in Minecraft. I know. <laughs> I didn't want to go there either. <laughs> you know what? Sure. Let's do Wait, it. Which version? Java or the inferior one? <laughs> I only have Java. <laughs> DS version. <laughs> Wait, is there a DS Minecraft? There, oh, fuck. There could have been at one point, There's, I'm sure. I have Minecraft on Xbox. Oh, crap. I don't have an Xbox. <laughs> I also have Minecraft on PC if I steal it. <laughs> Minecraft Mobile one v one. Oh man! So that's the new initiative that they did with Minecraft. They, they try to make it so all the versions oh. actually play against each other, except for Sony's because Sony won't let them. <laughs> I forgot Sony had Minecraft. Yeah, it. Well, everybody forgot Sony had Minecraft. They don't want to advertise it. It's yeah. literally the only Microsoft game that goes on Sony. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, oh, man. <clears throat> Next question. Miles asks, what made you choose the Miru as your personal mask? Well, this may come as a surprise to many, but my favorite Bionicle set and character is Liwa Mata. Despite the fact it didn't come into the, the franchise until like late 2002, early 2003, the Miru mm -hmm. just kind of stuck out to me, as did Liwa. So, mm -hmm. yeah. It's just my favorite mask, my favorite character, and favorite set. <laughs> you know, a, a, a better answer would have been you were struck by a vision at night and you <laughs> saw the night. mirror. What? Whatever. You were struck <laughs> with a vision in the night and you saw it in your vision, the mirror, and you knew you had to become a superhero. You just hadn't gotten that far yet. Yeah, we can yeah. go with that too. That works. <laughs> I like his answer more. We, we gotta market this. We gotta spin it. <laughs> we gotta make it interesting. Like maybe, maybe this is my superhero power, lifting you guys up. <laughs> superhero mm. power, LJ marketing extraordinaire. Yeah. Hero of, of the uh, failing toy channels. Oh, <laughs> don't go there. <laughs> don't go there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're we're actually recording. Let's let's not go there. <laughs> when I'm done with you, there'll be no failing. Just air flat. Wait, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I carried away. <clears throat> oh man, that reminds me though. Hey, are you gonna play Lewa in our fan dub? Can I? I mean, that's up to I see. I was about to say you won't have to audition for it if you do. Literally, everybody's hiring LJ to be Lewa. <laughs> Except for certain people. <laughs> they just steal my voice. The icy place. Sorry, uh, actually, it's Lua. Oh, yeah, no, actually, that, that is a great point. Maybe I won't have you killed, but it is Lua. <laughs> Wait, no, it's Lua. Lua. You're, you're funny, both of you. You're all no. wrong. It's Lua. No. It's in, it's in the pronunciation books. Like... Yeah, well, just like love, guess what? <laughs> and the Picari Nuva is the Miro, dude. Like, <laughs> it's the <laughs> It's not the Miru, it's the Miro. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's really sure what Liwa does. It's all kinds of semi canon. But no, actually, to, to answer the question, G2 corrected this mistake and pronounces it, pronounces it Liwa. Darn right. Ugh. 
because so that's the pronunciation. That's makes the sense. only good thing the story fixed in G2 was fixing <laughs> that. It's, it actually did one other thing. It, it really great. Did you know that Lego actually made me into a set in G2? <laughs> what set is it? it it's uh, it's Lego Master. If uh, you look at Lego Master's name, I'll, I'll type it out in uh, general here. Okay. Um, okay. Lewa Mas Master of Jungle. Mm. Okay, so there's his name. I'm gonna highlight this uh -huh. for you guys. Look at that. What? I messed oh, it up. <laughs> that's so fucking. Can you believe stretch. it? <laughs> you, you that's take, a okay. stretch, my guy. <laughs> so for anyone who can't see it, you take the L from Lewa and the J from Jungle. LJ. Bam. He even I had an old it mask up on the video, but like <laughs> actually. I thought I thought the L and the J stood for little Johnny. Listen, okay. <laughs> How? Wait. Oh no, I didn't. That just clicked. What? Okay. I did not intend for little Johnny's initials to be L J. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was what it was the whole time. What? Oh my goodness! I thought it was intentional the second I heard it. <laughs> No, I didn't mean for that. It's too late now. Oh my goodness, no. It's like a year <laughs> later. That sounds like, what? <laughs> We're going to have words about this afterwards. <laughs> Negative ones. Okay. okay. That's a question to ask you but then, LJ, if you don't mind answering, and we'll cut this part. Who came up with Little Johnny? <gasps> Me. <laughs> Oh. That makes it even funnier. <laughs> I, I here's the thing. So during, at that time, we were trying to make like you know advertisements to show at the beginning of videos, and right. and we kind of just threw a bunch into a hat, really. And by we threw a bunch, I mean I came up with that and submitted that, <laughs> and everyone's like, well, okay, there it is. Let's use it. Of course, I still find the second version of that funnier. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh -huh. So basically, you're saying it's everyone else's fault for approving it. Uh, well, no, I share the blame. I created it. If that, that's what you could say. And it, it's haunting me to this very minute. <laughs> oh, man. You know you've made it when some stupid-ass podcast just rubs it in your face that you were little Johnny at some point. <laughs> How dare you? And of course, here we have good old Meso in the chat. Hey, LJ, where can I find the latest <laughs> blank reviews? You know what? You, 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 you can find him. You can find him in the grave. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, so, man. LJ, are you going to wow. be doing recap oh. reviews on Lego Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny guy. Honestly, though, I think it would be kind of funny to, oh, see, funny, you, like, funny. to see you tear into like the first three years of Lego Star Wars, because those sets are bad. I think I think I could do Luke it for construction. Luke Skywalker would be the worst. Yes. Oh my God! I was no, because I'm like doing a present. I'm doing a panel on sci-fi Lego at this convention that I'm that I'm helping run, and I was looking back at like the Lego Star Wars from in the early 2000s, and that's like so bad. Like the Millennium oh, yeah. Falcon. <laughs> oh yeah. It's just like a frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> nope. A frisbee, a frisbee with two... coated with decals and a giant black plate on the top. Yep. <laughs> Accuracy and 101, yet, dude. And yet somehow that is one of the most beloved... No, let's be honest, it wasn't. <laughs> See, it's all part of Lego strategy. <laughs> this is how they work. It's a comparison strategy, you see. Obviously, being a aficionado on all things Lego, you see what they did is they originally made it bad on purpose, and then eventually... <laughs> made better ones so they looked better in comparison so if you just compare the two well obviously their latest ones are going to be good no matter what the quality is they just have LJ, to be slightly they almost better. went bankrupt <laughs> <laughs> but biotical saved them yeah hell yeah technically and star that... wars 2 yeah well, 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 look, well yeah, no, star wars two didn't pennies save that them because they're, wars they're made making them. decent sets until like oh four Actually, okay, that that had less to do with the money and more to do with the designers. No, all all respect to the set designers of any generation, you guys do infinitely better than I ever could <laughs> under your budget. I mean, Let's they put two bricks way. together. That's way better than I can do. Hey, <laughs> I mean, oh, I can man. build models just fine. I can build a bunch of things. When I was a kid, I had literally absolutely nothing system Lego. I was a hundred percent Bionicle. 
and some Knight's Kingdom. Ah, a heretic. I see. <laughs> Why, you don't like Knight's Kingdom? Actually, no, Knight's Kingdom was one of the themes I was really big into uh, when it first came out. It was Bionicle, Exoforce, uh -huh. of course, and Knight's Kingdom. Huh. You ever play Knight's Kingdom on the Game Boy Advance? No. <laughs> Did that you ever shit. play that game it? Shit, my guy. Sorry if my phone picked up. Unacceptable. Okay. That game is probably terrible. I haven't played it in like 10 years, but it's it was fun. Okay, you know what it looks like? It looks like Bionicle the game for a game movie. Okay, and... no, it is better than that. <laughs> you know what my first Lego game ever was? Which one? Like my first ever Lego game. It was either Lego Racers, the original, um, or it was the Lego creator Harry Potter game. Hmm. Man, Lego oh. Racers 2 was fucking fun. <laughs> My first Lego game was a Harry Potter game on DS. Nice. I, I, I had gotten it on a PC and it was the Lego creator one. Not 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 the Lego like Harry Potter one through four. We're talking mm -hmm. back in the old days when they still had only C's year one. And then they put an expansion pack out for year two. Oh, hmm. my God. So we're talking like it, it literally, if you compare it today, it was Lego digital designer, but with Harry Potter. Like, themes. <laughs> oh, that's. Sounds really cool. Yeah, but you didn't actually get to build a whole lot. You you didn't get unlimited bricks. You didn't do any. Like I could build things, and it progressed the story just fine. Like, oh, you need to put in this spiral staircase, and you put it in. And it's like great. Now you can go up to your dorm. Oh. <laughs> That's so and stupid, actually. It actually Carpenter was in colleges. hindsight. But you know what? It was still one of the best things I could. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> but it had Harry Potter's name on it. <laughs> oh my god well next question <laughs> Felipe asks also shout out to Felipe he sends in questions every episode I uh, love you Felipe <laughs> yeah <my> what, cont <laughs> what wow. controversial slash unpopular bionicle opinion do you have ooh that is a uh, good question I was about to say <laughs> isn't the answer just love is not canon um <laughs> sad I don't know, actually, because love is love not being canon isn't so much of an opinion as much as it is kind of just a fact. And it's uh -huh. only a half truth because it's not canon in MCU, but it is everywhere else, like in Bar Magna. So did you just uh, call the MU the MC? Oh, no, 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 I didn't. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Even Massa's yeah, on it, bro. Yeah. You thank God. <laughs> oh no. Does that mean that that creepy romance between Captain America and his girlfriend's niece isn't like, isn't oh, canon anymore? Oh no. Oh, that means Black Widow and Hulk is never going to be a thing. Oh. Hang on. Her, her oh, love eyes. God. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay, okay. I took the foot out of my mouth. <laughs> You may Thank want to you, start LJ. over. You saved the MCU. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. Love is in canon the MU. <laughs> so, unpopular opinion about Bionicle. I would probably have to say it is I don't care about proportions, and I don't think they actually matter overall to a set. Mm -hmm. If anybody watched my recap reviews, which if you did, I highly appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed, then you'll know that a common con or criticism that I would bring up was that proportions being non-humanoid, like long arms, shorter legs, kind of weird torsos. Mm -hmm. um, that was, you know, a flaw to the set in the eyes of many in the community. Uh, the main, the, the best example people would bring up would be Matt's new the construction set from 2009. Because uh -huh. if uh -huh. you have his Thornax launcher in one hand, and then you try and put the arm all the way down, it hits the floor and cannot be put down straight. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. I don't think that matters. I don't actually mm -hmm. think it affects the quality of the set because let's be honest, at the end of the day, they aren't human. They're humanoid. Mm -hmm. They are not absolutely human. They don't need to match human proportions. So I think that'd be the most controversial opinion I have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oof. So... You would think that from all of the opinions you've given the recap reviews that people give you shit about. That's the one. That's the oh, controversial well, one. Well, okay, to, to be fair, the other thing is, I don't care about red axles and blue pins. <gasps> oh! oh! Heretic! Oh Bomb dropped. Nah, that is, that I will, however, 
say that I do think they're bad, but they don't bother me. Uh huh. <laughs> oh my god, that's wild. I know, right? And this okay. is what I say. This is what I kept on saying. <laughs> Guys, don't stop. I'm, I will mention if it's my opinion. But until then, please, I'm doing everything I can to bring the community to idiots. Stop it! Put the pitchforks down! No! Ah! He gave us a disclaimer, my guys. <laughs> and we didn't read it. Yeah, I mean, but, this, these aren't... Oh, yeah, shit, we forgot to give the disclaimer at the beginning of the video. Um, what, So what happens on the Lime Joint is not our personal opinions. Um, They are either objective facts about LJ <laughs> that we can represent here. Nice. Uh, or thing or commonly held opinions by the community. Oh my god. <laughs> so let me let me ask our new guest. Hey new guest. <clears throat> Same question. What oh, hi guys? Hi guys. How's it going? Oh no. <laughs> He's not my name's Kapaka and I can one two two. I'm some one of your oh biggest fans. <laughs> so my unpopular opinions about Bionicle. Um well 2001 is a terrible year. It's only really good because of the MNOG. The Toamata are terrible sets. The Garaga are terrible sets. The <laughs> trilogy is better than the OG trilogy. Gear Funk suck if they compromise Bo's ability. 2009 was one of the best Bionicle years ever for sets. Bionicle doesn't need to be in LEGO's hands to be good. HF had a better told story than Bionicle G2. HF had better characters than Bionicle G2. And the Miru is a dumb mask. Get up! Get up! <laughs> This is back into the abyss. Back into the abyss I go. I back will hang you from the gallows. <laughs> All right, see you, Tyler. You will the day so... you ever step foot into my territory, you lonely <laughs> plebeian. <laughs> and welcome back to the live joint where friendships are destroyed. Oh well, Miso's fired. That was <laughs> wait, so... no, wait, wait, hold on. What did you call him? What did you just call me? Miso. <laughs> Say that, that again. <laughs> John, you're fucking stupid. I'm gonna fire you. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not John. I'm Bond. <laughs> Dude, what is going on? This is this is wild, right? There, there was a guy toward the end of my stay at TTV, who would comment on almost every Brickfeed episode called <laughs> Bonathan Blonde. <laughs> <laughs> the Bonathan oh, Blonde. Oh, man. Well, speaking of Brickfeed and Lego uh -oh. system, uh -oh. Alfonso asks, what do you think about a Lego system's Bionicle for Generation 3? Mm. <sighs> okay. Now, <laughs> do they mean TTVs? Rick on uh, it? It does not specify. It does okay. not specify. In that case, I think Bionicle would do perfectly well as a system theme if it was run like Ninjago. Mm -hmm. However, yeah, since Bionicle is a very character-centric theme, I think that generally, you know, given its history, I would prefer to see it as construction, but I think in this day and age, mm -hmm. It would definitely succeed better as a system theme. Mm -hmm. I think that okay, makes but, a lot of sense. to go into though. What would you think <clears throat> about like a Ninjago construction? Uh, uh, I mean, I'd like it for the sake of it being construction, but Luke Skywalker haunts my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, I mean, but, unless uh, you le unless you left their masks on so you couldn't see it because. <laughs> Ray's wasn't bad, really. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, so a side note to that, um, I, and th this is my personal question on that one. Do you think they should do it like they set up most of the other uh, character-based themes where you split up the Toa team, or would you actually keep all of them together in, in a, at least one set? I would have them in one set like they do in Ninjago, but for a theme, for a line, you'd have to split them up. Right. Yeah, sell sell the sets. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. But you know, you'd have a, you'd have a set like the Destiny's Bounty from the Ninjago movie or the Temple of the Ultimate Ultimate Weapon from the Ninjago movie. Right, where you have a majority like of the team in there or a specialty version of that team, like maybe the gold masks or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well the gold mask, I I'd I'd sprinkle the gold masks. Like I yeah, actually I think that collectibles how they did M and G two perfectly serviceable. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I agree. Okay, but completely off the records, you actually think that some Bionicle fucking suck, wouldn't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I'm being completely serious, Hector. How dare you try and slander my good name? <laughs> Bionicle worst Lego line confirmed. Oh, man, but, you know, speaking of construction and like that, Chase asks, how do you think construction sets would have been affected if Lego had never come up with CCPS? Like, mm, do, snap, snap. <laughs> do you think we'd see more figure sets like the old Technic Pit Droid and Droideka, or do you think it would have died out when Bionicle G1 ended? I think they would have probably... <laughs> oh, heavens. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I was haunting my dreams tonight. What is wrong with oh, his wait. eyes? What's wrong? His eyes, those are the things you focus in on. What about the entire lower half of his head? <laughs> What about all of him? Where is his neck? If you were to literally zoom out and look at him, it gets worse the further you look at him. Are, are those natural looking cheekbones? <laughs> My his goodness. jawline is on his lips. This, this is like if Buzz Lightyear said, okay, I need, a, I need an upgrade. It starts carving his face. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> Actually, that would be a very appropriate line for this particular character. <laughs> really loving the Clone Wars reboot. <laughs> that's that's what I think. Why I think the Obi Wan works fine because you've got a Clone Wars version of him. But he literally Luke. looks like a wooden person. <laughs> no, there you cracked the code. It's harkening back to Lego's origins. <laughs> he looks like he's about to say, "Bro, gang weeders, rise up." <laughs> I know we're speaking the same language, but I didn't understand a word of that. <laughs> Moving on. Rise up. Gang weed. Anyway, um, yeah, how do you think construction systems would have been affected if CCBS wasn't a thing? I don't think it would have been dependent on... Um, well, I think they probably would run CCBS <laughs> themes if they... Well, sorry, construction themes. If they were to keep construction around, like with mm -hmm. Star Wars. I definitely think without construction we probably would have seen them. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, look! An improvement! Uh, uh, okay, Nessel, why is it getting closer? Hector, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have to save every one of these photos and just flash them up as we're laughing. I I'm know, sorry. I know. You have to. I have experience with this with the role interview. <laughs> Um, yeah. Personally, I, I think. Sorry to cut you off, LJ, but personally, I think uh, construction been getting bored, boring anyway. So, mm -hmm. personal opinion. Uh -huh. The Anika build has basically been overdone. I'm really grateful that Glissorian did something a little different with it. Mm -hmm. I actually disagree with that. Think so? Mm -hmm. Yeah, come, I think the Anika build was actually perfectly utilized. Ooh, okay. I, I think it was just getting a little a little overused. It was being used like what three years in a row at that point. Yeah, but I don't think that that necessarily made it bad. Just because something is used, if it works, then it, it, it's you know, it's still good. Because like CCBS has been going for what five years now. Oh my! I'm not tired of it. Wow, CCBS is. Wait, has it only? It's, it's not been five years because it started. In Started in 2011. Yeah. No, what I'm saying because wasn't Hero Factory One was technically the start of CCBS, wasn't it? No, yeah, but no. But Hero 2. Factory 0. One started in 2010. Okay, Meso yeah, says that would it, be eight years, not five. Well, mm -hmm. but 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 it it did start off with Technic and the original Bionicle system. So CCBS mm -hmm. started in 2011. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's still seven years. Okay, yeah. longer than I thought. There you go. Yeah, it's like yep. I'm not tired of it. They're still using it in. Well, I mean, really, we class well, I guess technically we should still classify it as being active since Star Wars has it. But I mean, I'm I'm not tired of CCBS. I'm tired of Lego only making CCBS Star Wars that look like shit. Yeah, I, I already had that conversation a while ago, and it's in the podcast in the previous episode. <laughs> yeah, I we think, have this uh, conversation you, every week. Uh, did we cut that, Hector, <laughs> or did we keep that part? Yeah, we kept it. Yeah, well, I know. I think, is... um, I, I think because, okay. <laughs> you know, you Tyler, why? 
You'd I think having two Tylers here, they would clash, but no, they're working in tandem to make things so much worse. Oh no, I'm closing my eyes and I can see three of them now. <laughs> Tyler versus Tyler one. <laughs> oh my god, but speaking uh. of speaking of Tyler, Jared asks, uh. do you believe in reptilian overlords? Is that for me? <laughs> no. No, I, I had to. Talking about me? No. I'm speaking. Well, LJ, what do you think about reptilian overlords? <laughs> there was a theory when I was younger and in the Bionicle community that Black <laughs> Six, the head of BZ Power, was a reptilian overlord. <laughs> what? You think he's joking? No, I'm not joking. This is a theory. The answer is no. <laughs> oh. No, okay, that's but... it. I, I've, I've met Six. He's just a robot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you don't believe in reptilian overlords, but just to confirm, you do believe in the Apple purists. I mean, I'm not saying that app lego is a thing now <laughs> that's ridiculous <laughs> i'm saying they will be how long do you give it until it's a thing can't say okay oh my god so, okay do you believe that disney killed bionicle g2 <laughs> no <laughs> that's a stupid theory because you should oh here we go oh boy oh boy We're not going down that path no, we we are we are be, okay. Look, John, <laughs> John, we, I, 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 I wash my hands of this. I'm gonna mute. Listen here, body I'm boy. I'm gonna die on Bionicle this hill. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You will die. <laughs> we all die. I feel like I have this argument like every other week. Someone on mask posting and and ta not Tyler, you have John. This argument on every episode with me. Yeah, like no. Disney didn't kill Bionicle. That's such a stupid statement. Like, See, oh I don't think Disney. Uh, Disney. But you okay. never know. <laughs> I'm on a roll. I don't think Disney, Disney did anything. I think Lego killed G2. Oh, really? What makes you think that? <laughs> well, one, they didn't advertise it very well. The what do you mean? They gave out Gold House. <laughs> In the or, first sorry, gold masks of fire. They gave the fucking mask of fire to Nick Van fucking Ginkle of all people. <laughs> Nick Van Ginsel. <laughs> Who? Hey, uh, don't disrespect the gink, my guy. Um, so, so, LJ, there was a member in mass posting on Facebook. His name is Nick Van Ginkle. He was the actual winner of the... Can we that? Oh, uh, no. Or uh, bleep that? No, yeah. no, no, no. Well, it doesn't matter. Everybody knows who Gink is. Oh. And, and, and you guys were saying enough. it too. He doesn't even have a Facebook anymore. So right. is this the same guy who's the head of the Bionicle subreddit? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Okay, guy. Because uh, the head anyway. of the Bionicle subreddit's a cool guy. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Anyway, oh. uh, so Gink, uh, the other guy, Nick, he actually won the gold mask of fire, and he decided to start building a couple of mocks, displaying that, and that basically became his. Uh, his thing, posting the same three Only mocks. those three mocks. <laughs> yeah, like those three mocks, and that's all he's ever going to post. You know what? That's so, fine. So long no, no, as he no, doesn't. No, he, he posts down. other things. Sometimes he mm. posts complaining about that he doesn't have a GF. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there is that. Point is, he, he more or less became a meme in himself because, yeah, he did. I mean, mm -hmm. I have a GF. I've got a gluten free diet. Uh, <laughs> Well, geez. <laughs> geez, Louise. Oh my God. Well, well, now you've mentioned you... her. <laughs> well, whoops. <laughs> That's so dumb. If you hadn't taken the mask off, then that would have been the confirmation that you're white. Okay, so a lot. I, I don't want to say a lot. I don't want to over exaggerate things. Mm -hmm. There were a handful of people in the comments of the finale who said that I was Asian. Alrighty. I, I, I can kind of see it in that initial when your eyes were a little squinting, probably because you were adjusting to the light. Yeah, I was looking up at the sky and it was, it was bright and overcast, so. Right. L LJ racially ambiguous oh. Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the new nickname. <laughs> oh my god. Well, 
Speaking of, I don't. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is my Solik, isn't it? <laughs> I thought Solik was your Solik. <laughs> no, that's Meso's thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm oh. sorry. You mean Miso? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Miso. Yeah, you're right. Oh, uh, we'll make it an emote after. <laughs> <laughs> After the episode's done, but um, this is just wrong. Speaking of f whatever, I, I can't nice. find a I mean... segue. Yeah, Charlie <laughs> asks, uh, I know how you feel about the good spirit robot, but what if I told you there was a bad spirit robot? No. <laughs> Charlie, by the way, is the guy who makes them. Oh. One of these I days see. we're going to get you two on here together. <laughs> Yeah, I, actually, we we, mm. we did plan to get him in here, but um, he has clap right now. Okay, I mean, that's understandable. You know, both of us would come here, one of us would leave, so... <laughs> he gets to live. Well, well I mean, he, Charlie's already dead, so you kind of gotta... Okay, listen, so long as, as he stays away from fingers, we're fine. What? Charlie bit my finger? Come on, it's a oh. classic. <laughs> it's a You're classic. Old. Wow. You're, fucking old. you're old. I mean, you're young. Throwback Thursday, guys. <laughs> you're old. Oh my goodness. Piano Cat? Anyone? Okay, Piano Cat. I, I can give you Piano Cat, but Charlie bit my finger. Even that was like a middle That's aged mob even, thing back in the day. That isn't even obscure. It's not, but. Oh my god. You underestimate how obscure <laughs> memes were before, tw like, 2012. Yeah. <laughs> God, I keep forgetting how old some of the memes I watched were. Yeah. Anyway, to, to answer that question, though, uh, repent while you can. Mm. Oh my God. But, uh, you want to talk about how old I feel? I just remembered how old uh, Asdub movie is. Oof. Oh man. Uh, I mean, that's hey, I've watched Asdub oh, movie since the first one. Aren't they on like the tenth one? Uh, I think they were on eight or nine, something like that. <laughs> I know he releases one like every nine months. I think I used to actually be a massive Tomska fan. It was really good back in the day. <laughs> Tomska's still pretty alright. <laughs> okay. Why is this entire episode just going to be in place with? <laughs> Luke Skywalker <laughs> CCBS meme. Yes. <laughs> On tonight's episode of Things I Didn't Need to See Today. <laughs> yeah. So I think I figured out the title of this episode, uh, Hector. We need to call it the LJ Skywalker Show. <laughs> How dare you? Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm told that. Th this just confirms <laughs> that every single time that LJ gets in the mask posting server, he sees something that just scars him. It's terrifying. <laughs> and yet you keep coming back. I mean, I, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna predict it. I think we're gonna scare him away from finally. Yeah. I, how can you do that? I, I live here now. I own this place. Thank you. Oh, give oh, it man. time. Give it time. Yeah. If we ever, if we ever get like tired of LG being a full time host, let's just scar him until he gets off. <laughs> That's a funny <laughs> joke. So, all right. So, I think we have more questions to talk about because we. Okay. Next question. Brian asks, "What's your opinion on the potential of Bionicle coming back via 3D <laughs> printing?" Okay, that's a unusual question. What, what do you mean, coming right, back? Okay. Well, like, like the potential of you know the fan base being able to bring back Bionicle to the public via 3D printed parts and whatnot. We have more than a couple of people in mask posting, like modeling their own pieces, like okay. fully articulated Madeline. So I'm assuming by the public, you mean the community, right? Yes. Yeah, well, public okay. community. You, you have the same. Okay. In that case, I think that all of the stuff that's on Shapeways that is Bionicle related is mm -hmm. absolutely phenomenal. It is certainly the direction that the Bionicle community should be going in. <laughs> All right, LJ, you haven't seen the Roxy with the OK. Uh, oh, I have. The... I... <laughs> Trust me, I've seen oh. it, and it's genius. The guy, the guy who sent the question, made that. Oh, oh, oh! That's King. 
Yeah, oh. Bri- Brian Kong. Yeah. Yeah, King. yeah, yeah. I know him. Yeah, he made our logo actually. Oh. Yeah, yeah we're gonna he, need to get really him to cool make guy. a new one. Yeah. Um. The other day, I I heard him say that he was gonna do Rakshi Wave Three. When we put in, when we have the lime joint as our background, we have our background. <clears throat> mm-hmm. We have to, like emphasize the L and the J in lime and joint. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was a that was a joke a lot of us made when we had our first uh, episode was our initials were TLJ and we're just oh <laughs> the last Jedi. All right. <laughs> and also LJ. <laughs> yeah. You know what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of back to the Lewa Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so you want to die today, huh? <laughs> Anytime, I mean, anywhere. Yeah, a, lot, a lot of threats going around this this episode. Just, just remember, just, LJ. Just I'm, remember, LJ. We don't know where each other lives. That's a fair point. I'm I'm just trying to establish dominance now that I'm here. Okay, it's nothing <laughs> personal. It's just business. That's a very icy move. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but okay. Well, we have to learn from the past first, and then. Oh. Okay. The best, sure, whatever you say, Swart. <laughs> Man, that was really cold. Oh, boy. Are we really back to this? Yeah, no. we never left. Oof. <laughs> anyway, All right. Pop asks, um, what's your opinion on shunning post-2008 lore? Like, some people are like, they ignore all mm. of the Victorian stuff and onward. Okay, I think... Okay, so I initially... Oh, goodness, mess up. <laughs> initially, I hated 2009. Mm-hmm. Like, when it was first announced and revealed and we were learning new things about it, air wasn't an element, we had these tribes and we had these Glatorian battles. I hated it more than I hated Hero Factory <laughs> upon its initial announcement. Oof. It is legitimately one of my favorite years, and I think that... There's a cutoff point. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with shunning 2009, 2010. I actually think that they're relatively good years, however flawed. Mm -hmm. And, you know, all the years of Bionicle have flaws in them. But I think that 2009 is a really, really good one. I think Mm -hmm. 2010 kind of takes a little bit of a dip. And if you're going to shun or ignore any part of Bionicle, it should be 2011 and onward. (laughs) What? There is a headcanon, and I don't adopt it, but I 100% support it. Mm-hmm. That suggests that nothing happened after the final comment comic uh-huh. and the final <laughs> and the final chapter of Journey's End. Nothing after that happened. Samad's uh-huh. tale ends, and then the rest of the serials non-canon. Okay, I, yeah, I that, can agree with that too. That's what that's what I was about to say because I was like, mm, those serials though. Mm-hmm. I honestly Again, thought that's you not... were going to try and like say that you don't think that Bionicle Revolution's canon <laughs> oh, shit. What are you talking about? What every Bionicle fan wanted in their actual Bionicle ending, Hero Factory? <laughs> he, no, not only Hero Factory, but Hero Factory slaughtering, quote, the Bionicle. Of course. Yes. Or as it should probably be known, because I'm going to give it a different name, a better name, Sidorox List. Oh my god! <laughs> Schindler Oxley. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my. We got a double post right oh. there. <laughs> <laughs> Both of those images. <laughs> I, okay. I'm having trouble deciding what to put on the thumbnail because you're just doing All so much. Them. I hate both of them so All much. All of them. <laughs> Like, uh, uh, you see, okay, so the Galador one, it bothers me, but I recently <laughs> finished the show, so I'm like, okay, that's fine. The other one, though, <laughs> that's her straining. Look at those luscious lips, though. That, that wait, 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 guys, 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 I got one. <laughs> no, you don't. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you don't. Look at this dude. <laughs> no. And look at the top of his head. <laughs> look at his lips. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh my god but oh this reminds me though lj galidor recap reviews one 
you wanna you wanna find a place for me to buy them all? Um, just just ask Mr. Julius to send them to you. <laughs> okay. Man, shut up. I gotta to get Mr. into Galdor. <laughs> I'm getting in a Galdor PC game eventually. Oh yeah, I, I saw a little bit about that. Mm, yeah, excited. mutual friend uh, Nick Voss is sending it. Uh, he already sent it. I have it, and now I just need to. Tyler. <laughs> 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 Poster eyes. <laughs> oh, oh. Wait, wait. Oh. I want to see if I can do something. Anyway, yeah. would you like do the show? Yeah. Oh, you want to do that? Oh. You want to do that? Okay. Answer all the that, questions. Actually. Next question. Alan asks: Approximately, how much has your horde cost you in total? Too much. My collection. Yeah, your horde. Yeah. <laughs> um okay so i calculated that the the bare minimum retail value for all of them was like a little over 2000 it's below that oh. because not all the sets that i got were retail value i got them for mm -hmm. less in a lot of instances so i don't know the exact amount but it's going to be under the retail estimate oh okay hmm. yeah um <laughs> Alan, he he is a collector too, and he has almost every single set, but he has several repeats of a lot of sets. <laughs> well, I'll tell him now. There are going to be some sets that, unless you're patient, you're gonna have to bite the pretty dollar to get. Pretty Which sure. ones? I, I'm pretty sure he already has the ones. So this is actually a question that I get asked often. What was mm -hmm. the most expensive set you had to get? And I always answer Karzani. And people always ask, well, how much did you pay for Karzani? Given that he... Too much. Way too much. He retailed for like $30, $40. Yeah. Had to get him for like $84. Yep. <laughs> because... And it's I, all because of that stupid Metro Blue... Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's because I had, I had to buy him from the UK. It's the only set I bought overseas. Yeah, mm. that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Alan is in the UK, actually, and I'm pretty sure he has Karzani. Mm. Like, Good. I I legitimately just want to get it for the Ruru. That's all I want. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh the man, the, that I don't care. The Metro Blue bad. Ruru is so good. Mm. It is. But I'm yeah. Like... <laughs> hey, Hector. What? Is this is this a good time? Do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's only getting worse. Just when I thought it couldn't get any worse. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, uh, Jack, if you're still there, do it. Yeah. Yeah, I think he likes you. <laughs> Look at him. The feeling is not mutual. Oh, Jay, you know I what? told you, you know that what? when you were. He looks better than the actual head. <laughs> <laughs> See, okay. Could you do me a favor, guys? Don't send these to me. Give him the Mark Hamill. <laughs> No. I'm sure he would appreciate seeing these. Actually, let's... Okay, get out. <laughs> get him out of here. Actually tweet these at my and camera. there it is! If he is not banned by the end of the day, I swear I will run you into the ground. <laughs> so, you, you, you can't blame him. I can, and I will. No, no I'm the one that suggested it. How oh, dare you? no. I will make an example out of you for all of the rest to see. Oh no! There's only one way to do, do that. I'm gonna have to go back to one v one. Oh, LJ, don't. And you know what? The stakes are gonna be high. If I win this one v one, I buy BSO one. And why would I agree to those terms? <laughs> okay, fine. You know what? That's totally fair. I will take it forcefully. If LJ gets uh, 10,000 viewers and $10,000, <laughs> Ford has to delete BSO1. <laughs> oh my if God. I get 10,000 likes on this post, I'm sending BSO1 to the so, Shadow Realm. I, you guys are going to have an exclusive little tidbit here. Okay. But I'm actually going to make a post on Twitter very similar to this scenario. I'm going to ask for an amount of likes for an outrageous act okay i'm not gonna say what it is you're just the yeah. first to hear about it 
say it and I'll bleep it out. No, oh, no, 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 because part of the act involves somebody in this call right now, and I don't want to tip my hat because they may, they may refuse to, to unwittingly aid me. Oh, gee, I wonder who it could be. Well, let's move on to the next question quickly. I think okay. it's me, so... <laughs> okay, okay, next question. Alan also asks, who did the recap reviews guitar riff? And as a follow-up question, Callum asks, can we get an actual download for the full recap review theme? Because it is a banger. It is. I will agree. Um, it is an awesome song. That was composed, I say tentatively, um, by Ven over at TTV. He, mm -hmm. he did most of the music for TTV, if not all, during the early stage. He made that specifically for me, and I used it for the recaps. It was initially used for a segment I did on the TTV podcast called the mm -hmm. Comic Maker Spotlight, where I would take a comic maker from BZ Power and spotlight them for the episode talking about the comics. And mm -hmm. then eventually I transitioned into the recaps, and I, I love it. It's a great song. He did a phenomenal job, and he just blew it out of the water with the extended edition. As far as a download is concerned, I have the rights to use the music, both of the mm -hmm. songs, for my videos. I did get that specifically. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to a download, that's up to TTV. Okay. So mm -hmm. if they choose to, then that's something. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I see we were done! <laughs> Oh, it was over. Oh my God! But okay, when I was, what I had planned was when I was when I will edit this, I was gonna ask around different servers. Hey, what's the most ridiculous LJ image you have? Now I don't have to. I'm glad you didn't go asking around because I know what the answer would have been. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> so, should we move on to the next question? Oh this is a blast. Okay. Please. Next question. Nathan asks, <laughs> what's your favorite band? I don't have one. Death Grips. <laughs> and why is it y'all been... Oh. You don't have don't a favorite band? Likes... I don't have a favorite band. Okay, okay. Well, let's broaden well, the question there. Well, he has a favorite artist. I can. I've spoken with LJ a lot of times. It's Uncle Adam. <laughs> okay, so okay, that, no. that's a fact. That's fact. Everything you just said was wrong. <laughs> la, 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 la. Let's show him how we do this. La. Start the show. Anyway. <laughs> oh, so okay, how about favorite me. genre? Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not very well versed in music so i don't even know oh my god what, what kind of music do you like to listen to hey everybody what uh, the hell el el <laughs> Piano Grimm. here I, I can give you my favorite song okay, okay what's your favorite song it's a uh, gunslinger by over it i have never heard that song in my life most people haven't <laughs> Okay, I'll I'll look it up. I'll I'll have it playing in the background right now, so we get content ID. Ah, why thank you. Why? Why? <laughs> why is that so green? <laughs> it's so it's Meso. I, I know Meso is here and he's listening. Is this how you felt the Makuta Fest when you said you didn't like Solik? <laughs> okay, he he says no. Okay. Oh, okay. No, he gets to laugh on the sidelines at my misery. Okay, oh my thanks. Yeah, but, okay. but when it was Solik, <laughs> did you feel the way he does? <laughs> oh, kind of. Okay, nice. Kinda. No, me, okay. me so, if we talk to you, you're totally welcome to turn your mic on. <laughs> so... He's your new little listener. Johnny. Your friendly neighborhood <laughs> guest commentator who's sick. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, he, he must have just fallen and passed out from all the. Hi, guys. You want to check out the Lime Joint <laughs> podcast? <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> 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 Get out of here. It's a hard life oh, being a Kopaka fan because my article's been canceled twice. I mean, what? No, I didn't say anything. <laughs> I, I, I said nothing. Just. 
Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> no, yeah, <it's> <laughs> Speaking of leprosy, next question. Miguel asks, Please, how does this make you so feel? Bad. Wait, it's a, it's an image. I have to send it. It's an image. Great. Good job. Oh, that's a cursed that image, man. More... I can't, I can't send cursed. it. Hang more on. cursed than any of Good. the images that we've been okay, I, I, I hardly doubt that. document off read -off. I okay, have the ability to send the picture. Hang on. I should be able to. Okay, how does this make you feel? <laughs> so you want to know what a great irony of life is? What? <laughs> In what is... my video announcing the LJ Johnson show, mm -hmm. you'll see me wearing what what's like kind of like a robe, like a bathrobe-ish kind of a deal, but not a bathrobe, more like just a casual uh -huh. wear around the house robe. Look at the colors. So uh -oh. that aside, this uh, is actually really impressive. Uh, that this is a really great mock. I'm I'm really impressed with how he managed to pull this off. Uh huh. Huh. Well, that's a surprising answer because I think that's pretty this awesome. Is fucking cancer. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So, no, uh, I, yeah. Uh, good. Next question. Chase asks, "What made Bionicle special to you? Is there any is there any distinct childhood memories you have with them?" Uh, I would have to say just it, it was the story mm -hmm. sincerely because I do yeah. recall one of the things I really wanted to to do was get a lot of the set so I could reenact story moments and mm -hmm. that that was a big thing for me when I was younger is reenacting the Toa getting their masks or the battle of ooh, whichever uh, instance mm -hmm. whatever it was and so I would certainly say it was the story and the fact that they were easily constructed characters, you know, as opposed to Lego sets, your standard system, which, you know, when I was younger, the tiny pieces easily lost. This Bionicle, there were larger parts that would allow me to easily construct them and, and pose them and do cool things with them. So I would say it, it, it's a story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like when you, okay, when you were a kid, like, do you play with any other action figures? No. Just Bionicle then? Uh, well... Maybe like one here or there, but uh, primarily Bionicle. Uh huh. Man, you really missed out on Transformers. See, people keep telling me that I never got into Transformers. Really? No. Really? I I recommend the IDW comic. Transformers is extremely powerful. <laughs> you should buy the ones with the gold plastic because gold is really cool. No, no, don't do it. Gold I think I will do that because that sounds like solid advice that I can trust. <laughs> no, gold plastic in Transformers is the is the equivalent joint. I can't hear you, detractor. I'm oh. listening to my trusted fellow over here. Isn't that right? <laughs> no, you're trusting Jonathan. No, you're trusting no, Bonathan. I'm trusting Bonathan. <laughs> yeah, Bonathan would never lie to me. <laughs> He's got a point. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, of all the people in this room, Bonathan has not posed an. Oh wait, didn't he? <laughs> okay, what I the see. hell is that... going on? <laughs> you can put the lips that on. Is that? <laughs> it's a happy see... family. I see. It's definitely a cursed image. <laughs> I didn't come in here. I didn't come in here to this podcast to become a permanent fixture of your channel for this kind of abuse. <laughs> I, I did not come in here to see images like this, oh which my I God. know I will never be able to get rid of. This is going to follow me. <laughs> what, you think anyone listens to this shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I just, I, I looked see, over at the Discord bar and I saw that Icy was playing Angel's I was like, hmm, something's up. <laughs> oh. Paint tool sigh. Interesting. That, that, that's very fascinating. Well, you know what? One other thing, because I know we have a pending Overwatch match that we need to get to, you know, a good old one if you want. And listen, I don't go easy on anybody, usually, as a rule. But listen, I'm going to go especially, especially grueling and taxing. And by the end of it, you're never going to want to touch Overwatch again. You're never going to want to see a computer again, because you know what? That's the kind of tight ship and an organization I run here, okay? I do not... S H I P guys, come yeah, on. Yeah, do you say <laughs> tight <laughs> ship? No. S H I P, as in like a boat. Watch when you're so busy attending to your lovely family. Get out! <laughs> Get out! 
I don't want to see ice <laughs> ever again. <laughs> oh no! Don't fire ice, no. my boyfriend. What the hell? Sorry. Guess what I see? You're gonna get melted. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Hey, melted if... by my fire strikes in Overwatch. <laughs> For the Look, sins you have committed like against me. your tail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. All get fired. Okay, next question. Steven Wirt asks, Ultimate question. BS01 or HS01? Hmm. Uh, let, uh, let me think about that. That depends. <clears throat> hey, Swart. Yeah. Bionicle. What do you think about my newfound <laughs> empire here at the Lime Joint? Uh, you've done better. <laughs> Easy power database. That's my answer. Next question. <laughs> what do you... What? No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I want to elaborate on that. Uh-oh. What, <laughs> what database? Oh. Well played. I'm well played. Finish, but... <laughs> What? Oh, come on, guys. We all know that the Bionicle Wiki is the best one. Get out! Yeah, no, I'm agreeing, I'm agreeing with, with Steven over here. Get out. Steven. Okay, and, um, well, the last of the serious questions. Hmm. We Sharky asks, will you hmm. ever review the Power Pack properly? Okay. <laughs> here we go. Oh, <laughs> It being, uh... You see, okay, so for context, way back when, when I was a, a wee little lad, the ripe old age of 24, so when I decided, <laughs> hmm? sorry, did I, I, did I say 24? I meant to say 64. So when I was 64 <laughs> and I started the recap reviews, I made a review on the McTorn. And in that review, I also brought Hafu in. Now, Hafu is a fixture of the power pack special edition box. <clears throat> and he is the only buildable component in that entire collection of items. And so I brought him in and just reviewed him with the other McTorin because he was the set. He was the thing you built. And I thought, okay, that's fine. Mention the power packs, uh, power <laughs> pack, <laughs> power pack set <clears throat> number. And we're all good. No. Hounded for years going, you didn't review the power pack, you didn't review the power pack, you didn't review the power pack. My stance was, well, listen, everything else in the power pack isn't a set. Look at all the items. You have a collectible mask, and the mask on its own isn't a set, and Hafu is never illustrated with the mask on him. You have a CD, that's not a Lego piece. You have a poster, that's not a Lego piece. You have the CD case, it's not a Lego piece. And you have a divider. Guess what? Not a Lego piece. And you have the box. So all these years later, I managed to get a hold of an unopened power pack, and I did a review, a random review on my channel, going into the contents of that. It's like, all right, great. Now I reviewed the set portion, and now here's the rest. Well, in the actual full rest of the power pack review, I did not review Hafu, because I'd already reviewed him, and I told people you can find the video online. And I thought that was the end of it. But this stupid wannabe British person kept, he keeps on coming up to me going... Oi, LJ, I'm your biggest fan, and I think that Ireland is def definitely a European discount Idaho, which is way better <laughs> at making potatoes than Ireland ever is. Also, go UK. Also, I really love your reviews, so can you make a power pack review? And I go, I already did. You have two videos to enjoy. Gosh darn it, Luis, stop it! <sighs> So, LJ, do you like your eggs, uh, your excuses, Scrap? Get out! Or... Mess out! I swear! Every time you do this, you back the opposition, you go the opposite direction, and now you're here to foil my plans. Well, you know what, buddy? Not this time. Not today. I'm the king now. I am! Wait, who's Meso? I only know Miso. <laughs> I only know Kapaka and Mike Gillen. <laughs> LJ likes boiled excuses. Get out! <laughs> oh man. Actually, it turns out I'm stupid and there's more questions that I didn't put into the Google Doc. So. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I, it's empty. <laughs> it's okay, so. <laughs> next question. Mm. Bennett asks, how does it feel to be an insult? Next question. <laughs> Who's stealing from me? <laughs> Next question. Justin J. Marler asks, 
Have you ever heard of TTV? The Three Virtues? <laughs> they're they're fairly question. well known. Yeah, dude, they're they're pretty well known. Um, Eastern News Channel. <laughs> yeah, look them up. Now, actually, I'm sorry, was that well? Techno Eastern Works. You know, the, there's a Japanese branch, and then uh, another country of which I can't recall <laughs> off the top of my head. Fairly well known so, uh, news source. <laughs> so I want I want to throw something um, off topic into this a little bit. Unallowed. I'm just going through uh, Twitter real fast. <laughs> Apparently they're bringing back Muppet Babies on Disney. What? Uh, I don't know what those are. No, they're bringing they're bringing <laughs> back like actual. They're bringing back some sort of Muppets on Disney's oh, like I streaming love, channel. I love the Muppets. Doing. It's the Muppet Babies. I liked the Muppet Babies when I was but, a baby. But they ditched Scooter, Skeeter, <laughs> and Rolf, and then what they the... brought in a random pup penguin. Okay, they need to die. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There is just oh, no in between for you, is there? I see. <laughs> so it's also three D animated, which I don't makes like it that. inferior. <laughs> I don't like that. <clears throat> well, next question. <laughs> Wait, guys! Before we do, what? I swear. What? 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 Don't you happy. dare! It's LJ's power hex. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my. oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know I needed bleach until right now. <laughs> yeah, this is where you're getting know. fired, Bonathan. You see, Aww. actually, during the filming during the filming of The Last Jedi, um Adam Driver <laughs> was actually incapacitated for a brief time, so I had to fill his spot for the shirtless scene when he was talking to Ray. Uh-huh. And uh, that's actually an on-set photo. Will let anyone know? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Also, I just got a video. Me. I didn't need to see this, but I'm watching it. No. Uh, well. No. Well, next question. Um, Chris asks, who is your favorite round boy? Oh, round boys are mask postings nickname for the Borok. Oh, Levok. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Mm. <laughs> Okay, um... You paracno? <laughs> Next question. Cla- Claudio asks, If I take that mask off, will you die? Nah, nah, I'm okay. I mean, unless the mask you're talking about is my face, then probably. <laughs> he dodged that. <laughs> yeah. Um, Isaac asks, What is your favorite non-canon set? Isaac <sighs> is a bad name. What? <laughs> Favorite non-canon set? Mm-hmm. Mm. Isn't there only one? Um, I mean, Toa Maranui is in canon, so... Yeah, isn't that the only one? Not unless you talk about the promotional items. Yeah. Oh. Alright. I guess that only leaves for Toa Maranui or Good Guy. Honestly, I was gonna go with Toa Maranui. This is another unpopular opinion. Most people dislike the set. I like the set. Huh. The set itself is not bad. I especially love the fact that we finally got a gold Ignika of that piece. That Don't get me nice. wrong. That's the only piece of value in the entire thing, but... Oh, like absolutely. It. Well, no, it's it's a good parts haul you, you, for mocking purposes. <laughs> eh, fair enough. It's just, it's just Takanuva 08, but with a shit color scheme. Mm. Unpopular opinion, I actually don't mind Takanuva 08. I kind of I wish the color scheme had been more better, but Takanuva with too many bones. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I Taka like Takanuva Oe. I own him. Takanuva hurting juice. <laughs> Ow, pouch oh. boy. Takanuva. I know we're speaking the same language. I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> How many okay, more questions question. do we have? Uh, just a couple more. Not Barnabas enough. asks, Have you heard the tragedy of Dark Plagueis the Wise? I have. In fact, Revenge of the Sith is my favorite Star Wars movie. Oof, hot Oof. take. Oof. <laughs> but General actual Grievous question... is the best character. <laughs> but actual question, what's your take on Star Wars? On Star Wars The Last Jedi? No, CCBS. 
Oh, CCBS. Oh. Okay. Um, hit or miss. I think overall, generally, mm. it's good. I think that oh, there yes, is a bit of a problem with a lot of the kind of clone trooper esque style of certain figures, like mm-hmm. Django Fett and then X Y Z A B C amount of clone troopers that are basically the same build with slight alterations. That bothers yeah, me. Heads. Also, and the of faces. Course, and of course, yeah, that, the, the the weird abstract <laughs> faces that are supposed to be human. That we've well, talked think... about for like half of this up. <laughs> or... I, I think overall, it's a positive theme. I like it. Mm-hmm. So here's a question to slam into there real fast. What character would you like to see as a set if it doesn't already exist? It already exists. It's Grievous. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Side note, it occurred to me the other day, and I hate this. I've actually been blessed slash cursed with one impersonation of Star Wars. Hmm. Yoda? No. Jar Jar? Jar Jar. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't do oh, it. Oh, no! We thought Jar Jar Binks. Okay, we're going to be so very, him. very embarrassed. <laughs> Misa, do you mean me so? <laughs> 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 anyway, yeah. this is this is the peak of entertainment, folks. <laughs> Come on, last two questions. Justin asks, "What's your rank and reach?" Uh, I'm currently in Eclipse. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> um, so that's, that's Hector, to clarify, <laughs> Eclipse is literally like at this point you have no life and you've been doing this for basically years. It's about four. Like, the majority of those ranks were gotten in about a month. Yeah, that's about right. Jeez, come on. <laughs> well, and some of that was also during the double XP rushes, because... Well, come on, I man. You're, not, you're telling me you're not even uh, an inheritor? Not yet. <laughs> not yet. That's like four levels away from inheritor. Hmm. But that four levels is like 300 hours worth of game. Yeah, don't remind me. It's like in RuneScape. You're in like level fifty something, and you're like, boy, I'm halfway through. <laughs> I thought there was double X reach ninety two because they introduced. Uh, I guess they did no because they did that during Halo Four, didn't they? No, I, I just I just played like a frying pan's load worth of reach. It was crazy. All right. My God. Well, okay. Last question. Claudio asks, what do you think about Faber and his work on Bionicle or Faber? Uh, Christian Faber, I think that the work he did was instrumental to Bionicle being a success. Absolutely. I would love to sit down and chat with him about pretty much anything. Honestly, the thing I'd like to talk to him most about now is Rebel Nature, the project he's working on right now, because I know so little about it, and I'd like to hear it from him, because I think that'd be the best way for me to hear it until it comes out. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh man, have you listened to the new Cryo Shoal song? I did. Not my style, you know. Which is basically the same as the old Cryo Shell song, but yeah, that, I didn't yeah. like it. It's just not my my kind of of music. It's too slow for me. Mm-hmm. You know, that earlier question about which music I liked, it uh-huh. should have been which which genres of music don't you like? Because I can rattle that off fast. I don't like rap, <laughs> and I, I I don't like. Hot take. Dubstep. Is there anyone who likes? <laughs> yes, he's in this call right now. <laughs> oh, is this, it I better mean... not be Swert. No. no. Oh God. It... You know what? I'm never. I'm only ever gonna call you Miso from now on for that. Honestly, it, do you guys have like a music bot in this this chat? Yeah, we do. Yes. Yeah, we do. Great. Yeah. In that case, Miso should introduce you to. Probably the worst. Once this is over, I will introduce you to the world of country okay. dubstep, and it will be glorious. I love that LJ decided to call me so. <laughs> I'm gonna say six words and remute. Okay. Cotton Eye Joe, Gregorian chant, dubstep. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> okay, that what? actually sounds like something I would listen that to. That actually sounds really interesting. You gotta find a link. Oh. Well, yeah. and with that, with Gregorian chant dubstep, I think it's time to wrap this sucker up. LJ, you I... got anything else you want to say? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, a few things. 
Uh, first, okay. I'd like to thank all of you guys for, for being so kind and, and courteous and letting me into this chat. I've had a really great time. And once again, I'd like you're welcome. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to thank you all for inviting me to be a permanent host here. And I know it's going to be maybe a, a rough transition period, but we're going to make it through. We're going to lose some people like Hector, Icy, Swart, Bonathan, and Tyler, mm. but it's okay. At the end, Mardi Gras. it will be perfection. <laughs> the Lime Joint podcast will become the Elger Johnson podcast. And I think that's proper uh. because instead of a Lime Joint, which would designate poor quality and fracturing, we'll have me, which designates power and control. Hey, Hector, I think that we need to, you know, get rid of him. Uh, okay, I was planning on doing that, but don't tell him. What are you saying? Let him finish. Hey, guys, what are you talking about? Hmm? No, nothing. Just finish your sentence. Oh, well, no. Oh, you no. want to plug your stuff? LG, you're fired. I'm going to take a moment to plug my stuff before I, you know, grind him into powder. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> you can find me pretty much anywhere LJ Johnson's Rome, which in this instance would be on YouTube. Channel's just called LJ Johnson, where I host the LJ Johnson Show every Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a new guest. Or over on Twitter, at the LJ Johnson, where we have a good time, have updates for the LJ Johnson Show, and make fun of how many times I get frustrated over Fweffy dyeing her hair. <laughs> also, where I'm now going to announce my rule over bionicle mask posting uh yeah um about um, that you're fired you can't fire me you're fired do you know who i am do you know what i represent do you understand the power i will i will crush you i will turn you into powder which i will then proceed to <laughs> <laughs> bye bye LJ don't let the door hit your ass good night everyone <laughs>